Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. Welcome to my Crypto Hopper update number 10. In this video, I'd like to show you my results from the last day or two trading. If you remember in my previous video, two days ago, uh, about coming up to 48 hours, uh, I was up to $1,529 in profit, and I've added almost $40 in profit when these come up into the green and sell obviously this number is going to jump I think it will end up being around 1575 something like that so I'm not really counting that until it arrives however what I also wanted to tell you about was there is a blip in my stats right now because Binance is down for maintenance. This is on the one minute chart look. And it's been on in maintenance mode since 9.20 my time. It is now 10.40. So it's over an hour now. And this has happened a couple of times before in the past. This is why I'm scrolling down to the bottom of my stats to show you what happens when the exchange goes down for maintenance. All right. Can you see these two blips here in the past? Well, that's what's happening now. So I expect in a couple of hours, once this is updated, it will show another blip here. All right, so that's uh, what's going on right now. How many trades did I have recently? Let's look at the date for the 11th. Only two buy orders this morning. Signals still pretty quiet. few signals yesterday. Uh, let's... Ooh, it's very difficult. There you go. 13 buy and 4 sell. Good ones. Uh, so, yeah, only a few trades recently. But it, is, it does seem to be picking up again. As you can see, some quiet days here. Uh, when Bitcoin's going crazy, I don't get too many signals, which is good because it keeps me safe. All right, so what else do I, did I want to show you? That's right. It is my secret source video page uh, as you can see this is what people get for signing up through my link if you want to replicate my settings and you want to make a minimum of 0.5 percent per day using the settings I'm using oh and by the way um, since my last video two days ago almost 48 hours ago uh, I've calculated the profit percentage that I've made since that last video now bear in mind it's not even 48 hours yet and bear in mind that these have not come up and sold yet uh, once Binance comes back up and these positions will get sold eventually and I'm reckoning I'm going to be at 1575 but let's calculate on 1568 it works out at approximately let me show you my calculator uh, 1,529 you saw in my last video uh, minus minus 1,000 1,568 we'll call it all right $39 profit according to that and what we're standing at right now obviously when they go up it could be 45 50 dollars profit all right so um, let me see 1,529 plus 2.5% equals 1,567. So 2.5-ish percent is $38.25. So you can see there I've made slightly over 2.5% in two days. What's that over one, one day? Well, it's half of 2.5%, so it's 1.25% in one day. Bear in mind, this could go up. So I could actually be looking at more like 3% or 3.2% for two days of trading. So there you go. I've made 39 so far. When Binance updates itself and keeps going, I'll be able to give you a more accurate result.
Okay, so here we are again on the Secret Source page. It's, as I said, it has a table of contents. Uh, go through all of the videos once you get Crypto Hopper through my link and I confirm you signed up. Give me your username in the comments uh, and I will fix you up with this Secret Source Crypto Hopper settings page. Now you can see lots of videos on there. I go through all the steps and very detailed which coins to choose. Things like that. Uh, we can how to DCA, ha, never panic, sell your positions. Why we are not getting many signals right now, as of the fourth of thing, and we're still not getting a lot of signals. Well, basically, it's because Bitcoin's going crazy. How to manually buy crypto in Crypto Hopper. Temporary tweak to max coin buy amount while I'm waiting for signals to come back. How and when to synchronize coins. Watch out. Be careful with that. Choosing other signals while the current signals are quiet. So I've added some more free signals to, to my bot. Uh, don't forget to configure Nakamoto signal, signals. Ways to buy Binance coin. Because a lot of people have been asking me how to buy Binance coin on the exchange. All right. So I've, I've covered everything that you could probably need up to now. If there's anything else that... I learn or come across or I need to answer I'll add more stuff to this page so once you get crypto hopper through my link below this video uh, make sure you comment on my very latest video to get crypto hopper and it, it's easy f to find you in the comments because I've, I've been having a nightmare keeping up with all the comments on all the different videos and sometimes I miss people and they're waiting several days until I see their comment so best thing to streamline things, make it easier for me and make it faster for you to get this page, do comment on my very latest video. Today is video 10, so obviously you might be watching this three months from today. You might be watching this in the middle of 2021. If that is the case, go to my latest video. It could be Crypto Hopper update video number 25, I don't know. I don't know when you're watching. Okay, so to qualify, I need your Crypto Hopper username. Drop me a comment on my latest video. Uh, the plan that you bought, was it the adventurer or the hero? And the date that you bought. And then I also need your Binance, sorry, not your Binance, your um, Skype ID. So let me just write all this down for you. Okay. Uh, you need, I need your Crypto Hopper username. I need uh, date signed up. I need a uh, plan you bought. Adventurer or hero. Let me fix that because that's annoying. Uh, and I also need Skype username split it into chunks so YouTube doesn't delete it that's been happening guys people have been writing their Skype IDs and YouTube has been automatically deleting that comment so um, so in fact yeah if your username is teddy bear something like that on Skype well do it like that put a space in it YouTube will, will not recognize it as a Skype ID okay and then I will see it and make sure you do this all on my very latest video even if you're watching six months from now and I've got 30 videos if you want to get seen in the comments the best way is to comment on my very latest video so when I'm trolling through my previous videos looking for comments I always start with my most recent and I work my way back and it can take hours to do it so each video I make next day is taking me longer to go through them all and look for the comments alright guys so I hope that makes sense you must prove that you've got crypto hopper through my link you must also when you go to crypto hopper you must also check before you buy 
when you've clicked my link, you should land eventually on that URL there. Make sure it's correct. For security purposes, you know, you don't want to be going up to a dodgy website and entering your uh, PayPal details to pay for Crypto Hopper and they steal your money in a phishing attack or whatever. So check the URL says this. The affiliate ID should be 15412. That number is unique to me. If you see that number, then you are good to go. Go ahead, get your adventure plan. If you've got more funds, go for a hero plan. You might do quite a bit better than I'm doing. All right, so these are the things you need to check. Very easy, takes two minutes. And if you already have crypto hopper through somebody else's link and that person has not been helping you, let it expire and come through my link and I will help you. All right, fair enough. All right, so back to here. Okay. As you can see, things are still frozen for Binance maintenance. And I'm just wondering now, if I pop on Twitter and I look for Binance, I wonder if Binance has announced some sort of maintenance. Uh, where do I search there? Binance. Let's have a look. I follow them. All right. And tweeted 17 minutes ago. Okay. So, 17 minutes ago, they fixed some issue. Matching engine is online with the data validation. Have we got any? All right, there you go. This usually, you know, validates why Binance is down. Doesn't mean it's been hacked or anything. Just means they're doing some system maintenance. Last few times it's happened to me. Last couple of times it was down for about four hours in total. And it just restarted and continued where it left off kind of thing. Yeah, some positions have changed slightly. So I'm not too worried. All right, so it can happen. And as you can see in my stats, it's happened to me twice in the last four and a half months. So I'm not worried at all. So there you go. There's a profit update. Right, I also wanted to talk about, in this video, I wanted to um, talk about how much you should start with. All right, so we've, we've covered these two topics there. How much should you start with? All right. If you are going to go for Crypto Hopper, um, how much you're starting with will depend on you, obviously, how much you've got to start with. Now, in my first week or 10 days or two weeks, I can't remember precisely, from September the 20th or 21st, I was using $299. I had the Adventurer plan. I put in $299 into my Binance US dollar tether and I wanted to test the bot so I did so and I wanted the bot to prove itself to me and obviously it went really well I can't remember how much I made but it made enough to make me realize that I needed to add more funds into my Binance and start letting letting the bot do the trading for me so I started on 299, maybe it was up to two weeks, cannot remember. Then I decided to add more funds and I bumped it up to $670 to let it trade with that. And since then, as you can see, I've just grown and grown. Now last week I added another $156 of Bitcoin so, and then sold that. And so that added 156 to my fund. And that boosted me from, I can't remember now, about 1,340 to 1,400 and something. You have to do the maths there yourself if you really want to know. But yeah, that's the only time I've bumped up my funding from $670 and then adding that 156 So how much should you start with? Obviously, the more you start with, the better. I mean, 0.5% daily profit on $100 would be how much? Let's have a look. In fact, let's bring up that cool site, uh, compound, compound interest. There we go. Let's type in $100 and 0.5% over one year. All right. 
and we're going to reinvest 100% and we're going to calculate very quick calculation easy all right so there you go uh, 670 by the end of the year all right you're only making on $100 50 cents a day to start with it creeps up slowly and it's going to take you forever to make some decent money with just a hundred dollars so that wouldn't even you're not even covering the cost of the bot uh, you need fifty nine dollars for the bot and the signals and with that kind of money you are not covering the cost of the bot you're making fifty cents a day for the first what the first month between fifty and sixty cents per day for a month that is not enough to cover the cost of the bot so what about two hundred dollars let's see if we can cover the cost of the bot because technically speaking if you make sixty dollars in one month with crypto hopper you have made a dollar profit and you've paid for the bot at fifty nine dollars so the minimum you ever need to make is a dollar in profit it's pretty pointless but you know if you if you make sixty dollars then you've just more than broke even all right so under two hundred dollars we're gonna be getting a dollar a day to begin with and how much would that be after a month two hundred and thirty two see you've only made thirty two dollars still not enough to cover the cost of the bot at fifty nine dollars so let's type in three hundred calculate that so that would be 1,852 in one year. That would be 1,552 pure profit. Minus that, you know, you take this off this number. This number minus this number, your original, would come to this. So that's pure profit. Minus the cost of the bot, which would be $708 for the year. All right. So we're getting better results now. 150 But is that enough to cover the bot in the first month? Let's have a look. All right, you're up to 348. We're getting closer. You've made 48. Not quite enough. We need 59. So let's go for 400. If you've got $100, it's not worth bothering with the bot yet. All right, you need to save up and get some dollaroonies together. Let's have a look at what 400 brings us. All right, in one year, it makes us 2,069 in profit, minus the cost of the bot, take $708 from that, and that is all profit in your pocket. All right, so from day one with 400, you're making $2 a day profit if you achieve 0 0.5. Now, as you can see, how much interest did I make in the last two days? over 2.5 percent so far for sure all right so it's 1.25 percent per day an easy 1.25 percent per day for the last two days but i'm i'm calculating using an average of 0 0.5 percent per day compounded because there are some days where i don't make anything and my profits don't grow but they don't go down either all right so I average it down to 0 0.5 and I want to make 0.5% per day compounded and if I achieve that I'm really happy all right anything more is a nice bonus anything less never mind there are going to be good days where I make up for it right makes sense I think with this amount 400 you are going to co cover the cost of the bot in a month so yeah you're going to take 400 to 464 dollars so if the bot and the signals cost you 59 dollars that's nearly what is that it is it's five dollars and 55 profit not bad for something that's mostly automated all right well let's say you you think well, well i want to make more than five dollars in the first month can't blame you for that let's say you go for 500 dollars see what that would bring yeah this is growing that would bring you two thousand five hundred eighty seven dollars in a year minus seven hundred and eight dollars for the cost of the bot and the signals 
There you go. You made about 1,800, is that? 1,880? Something like that. All right, so let's see. First day, you're making $2.50, and then it starts creeping up because it's getting compounded. Uh, and then after 30 days, you get to $2.89 per day. And you've got to 580 Now that's $80 profit. Minus $59 for the cost of the bot. What's that? Is it $29? Profit. A bit more than $5, isn't it? Just from that original 100 increase. Now let's go for 1,000. Right. Start with 1,000. Compound for one year. $1,000. You would have 5,174 minus your 708, what's that? It's about 4,500? About 4,500 profit. Let's do it on the calculator. Uh, what we've got? 5,174 minus 708 for a year of the bot and signals. 4,466. And then we'll, let's say we take off about $20 for Binance fees, you know, every trade comes with a tiny fee, and I think it will be about twenty or forty dollars per year. So you made around four thousand four hundred forty-six profit in the year from one thousand dollars. So obviously, can you see that the more you start with, the faster you're going to grow? Let's put in ten thousand dollars, shall we? Oh, and by the way. Back to 30 days, yeah. $1,000 turns into 1,161, so that's 161 up minus your $59 for the cost of the bot and the signals. So we're looking at around $100 pure profit there after 30 days. And on day 30, you're going to be making about $5.78 per day. Obviously, it's going to creep up. Do we achieve $10? Yes, we do. We get to $10 at around, yes, 140 days. $10 a day, and it should go up incrementally each and every day. Right, let's have a look. Can we get to $20? Yes, we can. There's $20. Day 279, you're making $20 a day, and you're up to 4020 So you've quadrupled your money. Minus the cost of the bot for all of those days. All right, so you've you've tripled your money after paying for the bot. All right, 365 days, how much are you making per day? Making a nice $30 per day profit. Now, how much did I make in, in the last couple of days? Let's have a look. Uh, oh, I already deleted it. So let me just click undo here. It's not letting me. It's only letting me undo. All right. So uh, I made $39 and it worked out at about 2.5% 2 2 profit for two days. Divided by, divide that 2.5% by two, it's 1.25% per day profit. All right. So average it out. If I don't get any trades today and tomorrow, you know, I'll end up. Overall, about 0.5% per day. That's why I'm working from that number. Okay. So, let's see what 10,000 brings us. All right. In one year, 10,000 will turn into 51,746. And as you can see, starting with 10,000, on day one, your very first day, making 0.5% overnight, the very next day, your first full day, you should have a good $50 in profit. Now, your principal amount is $1,050. So the bot is now going to take that $1,050 and it's going to trade it at 0.5% interest, all split up into small trades of varying rates. 
and then the next day you're going to make just over fifty dollars right some days you might make zero dollars some days round here you might make a hundred dollars and it will make up for the quiet days all right we're working on an average folks all right you're not going to see exactly fifty dollars the next day it could be forty eight dollars it could be fifty five dollars it could be seventy dollars you know we're working on an average all right after one month you're up to 57 almost 58 dollars a day and you've grown from 10,000 to 11,614 1,614 minus the cost of the bot 59 dollars work it out for yourself guys or minus the cost of the bot if you get the hero you would have to minus $99 plus the cost of the signals $109 all right so is this all making sense guys uh, how much should you start with well as much as possible basically uh, but don't go remortgaging your house don't go robbing your granny don't go doing bank robberies don't go stitching people up and ripping them off uh, don't do anything that's going to be harmful to your financial situation uh, don't some, do something that's going to uh, not put food on the table because you've done it. Only invest what you can afford. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. I just do like to share my ideas with you. All right, we're still not back up on Binance. It's still in maintenance mode. Uh, one minute chart is now... 1040 oh, sorry no it's not 1040 is it yes it's 1152 now so that was the last time Binance updated me was 1040 so we're way along by the time this finishes we're way along here all right let me refresh and see if it comes back now yeah, the last update from Binance was 1040 so yeah it's kind of frozen and obviously as you can see things are going well you could see some previous trades here that was a nice one dogecoin dca'd it a few times bought it at ten dollars originally and it it tanked it went to about minus 15 percent and then it went to about minus 20 so i bought some more bought another ten dollars that brought it to ten percent under then it tanked again so I DCA'd again, then I had $40 worth, and it tanked again. It tanked many times for after DCA. It always works out well when you do multiple DCAs, and the, the position ended up as being $112 worth of Dogecoin. And last night I, I went downstairs and went outside to have a cigarette, and I came back up, and I remember before I went down downstairs, before I went outside and had a cigarette, I looked at this and it was minus 8%. I thought, well, well, it's creeping up. It's creeping up. It was minus 10, minus 8, and it was trying to go up. When I went downstairs, I was only 10 minutes, went outside for a cigarette, smoked it, come back in the house, came upstairs. It had sold at 5% profit. Apparently, Elon Musk did another tweet. <laughs> and it went up 5%. So it went from $112 to $118. So there's a $6 profit right there. One $6 profit. And that is quite a sizable chunk of my $39 profit for yesterday. All right. So I've got a few more trades in my trade history. Uh, let's have a look. So you could not get trading pairs. It's, it's because Binance is in maintenance mode. Bot can't do anything. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. You know what to do to get the secret source video. I should call it videos now. This is the intro video. And then this is the actual secret source. Hey, hang on. I've got it twice. <coughs> Ow. Hang on a minute. I think I made a mistake. That's the same video twice. All right, I'll, I'll fix that. Anyway. I'll see you again in the next video. You know what to do. Comment on my latest video. No matter when you're com 
commenting. Always check my latest video. Give me your, remember to give me your Skype. Give me your, make sure that you're using this URL. Make sure that number appears on the end. That's my unique number. Affiliate ID. Yeah. Crypto Hopper username. Tell me that. That's important. Date signed up. Plan you bought. And your Skype username. So there's one, two, three, four, five things you need to be checking there. All right. And when you give me your Skype ID, just put a space in it like that so YouTube doesn't see it. Uh, as a kind of, I don't know, I think YouTube just doesn't want links to external sites. They want to keep people on YouTube. Yeah. So anytime they see links to external sites, they get a bit, um, you can't do that, you know. Sometimes they do that, all right. So go ahead, get CryptoHopper through my link, do this, uh, start with as much as you can, and remember to split your chunks here, yeah, or even like uh, that if you have to, all right, and I'll see you in the next video, please like, comment, subscribe, and if you want to be extra, extra helpful, go ahead and share this video to social media, and I'll see you soon in the next video.